Hello everyone, welcome to Shay's Tube. Do it again, do it. Let's do it again. Do it again, do it again. I'm gonna do it again. Do it, do it again. Hello guys, welcome to Shay's Tube. And this week, First, let me say welcome, everybody, okay? Welcome again. But this week, I got a haul from the store's Dollar Tree, the 99 cent store, Big Lots, and I'm trying to think where else I went because I go to so many different places. Oh, Target, and I think that's it, guys. Oh, Walmart, and that's it, okay? Let me first tell everybody thank you for watching all of my videos. Thank you for all of your comments. Thank you for thumbing up my videos. And if you like this video, don't forget to thumbs up, thumbs up this video as well, okay? And thank you for sharing my video. So, uh, let's see what else. I think that's it, guys. Let me just go ahead and start my haul because I actually forgot what else I wanted to say. When I'm done, maybe I'll remember and then I'll tell you guys, okay? So let me go ahead and do this call because I got quite a few things that I want to sh uh, show you guys, okay? The first thing I want to show you is this foliage, this fall foliage that I got from Dollar Tree, as usual. Not as usual, but, you know, that's the store that I, I'm doing my haul on first. I forgot to show you guys the bag, but, yeah. But, yeah, I got this and I just, you know... I got some already for the fall time, but I just figured I should get an extra one just in case. So yeah, that's that. I got that. And I got some of these fall plants, which are really cute. I cannot pronounce this word, so I'll spell it. It's D-E-L-P-H-I-N-I-U-M. That is what these plants are called, okay? And I mean, if I look at the word long enough, I'll know how to pronounce it, but I'm not gonna try it on camera because you guys will be laughing. And then I also got, well, I got this one too, so I got three of those. And I'm going to add that to my container that I have my Michael, my plants in there for Michael because the plants that I got for Michael look a little bit more real. And so when I combine that with that, you won't be able to tell that that's a fake, you know, it's fake. You, it'll just look like it's real too. And then I got this one right here, the eucalyptus. I just said that wrong too, okay? Spray. And so I got three of these. And I got that one. I think I got this camera aimed wrong. Because I'm like, I have to go way over here just to show you guys. Okay, so yeah. I got three of these, okay. I'm trying to stay out of the camera so I got it aimed so far off. It's ridiculous, okay. Then I got, this plant right here is in the way. Wait, let me move that up a little bit. Then I got some more refrigerator magnets for Thanksgiving. For Thanksgiving, I mean. And that's what it looks like. I got two of these. I like these little magnets. Oh, wow. They're so cute, man. That's the other one that I got. Okay. They're so cute, so adorable. And then I got some window cleans for the fall time and for Thanksgiving and for Halloween. So yeah, there's 10 cleans on there. And they pretty much stick to my patio window pretty good. And then I got my son, not really, I'm not going to use this as a chore chart. I'm going to actually use this to mark his conduct for each day of school. Okay, so I, I did that last year and I'm going to do it this year. There's 12 in each one and I may need another pack so it can last the whole year. But yeah, these are good for that. You don't necessarily have to use it for what it says on there. Okay. I got one of these mailers again because these are pretty good to use. They're water resistant, or waterproof, I'm sorry. And they have the little bubble inside of it. They're pretty large and roomy, and I never have any problems when I mail gifts off in this, okay? I got some more of these medium reusable gloves. One pair, these do include, they do have latex in them, but I don't use these really, and my daughters are not allergic to these gloves. Which is weird because I those two other gloves with latex in. Okay, I got my daughter some Lady Speed stick, deodorant. Okay, this is the Powder Fresh scent. 
Let me see what it smells like. Well, I'll, let me see. Oh, yeah, it smells pretty good. I like the way it smells. Let me put her top back over before she thinks somebody was using it. And then want me to take it back to the store. I got some more of this body wash that I always get by, right, by White Rain and Lavender Escape. It's pretty good. This is a good one to use. Jill, it's so good. I don't even buy my, the one that I normally buy from the regular stores anymore. They cost like six or seven dollars. I got some liquid hand soap, one of the best brands you can buy at DT. And that's in the lavender scent. I got two of those, okay? I got two of those. And that bottle is a 14 fluid ounce bottle. Then I got some more Kids Aim in the bubbleberry flavor. And that tube is a 4.8 ounce, so that's pretty good for a dollar. I got two of these Simp Tide Simple, Simply Clean and Fresh. Okay, I got two of those. And I got some more Spick and Span Antibacteria Cleaner for a refill bottle. That's pretty good. It's in the Fresh Citrus Scent. You know I had to get some of this, this L.A. Totally Awesome Laundry Detergent. It, and this is an original scent. And you know, it's a good idea to open these up and look at your soap because I actually bought one of these and the soap looked nasty on the inside. So ever since that day, I've been buying it. I mean, ever since I've been buying it, you know, since that day, I started looking inside of it because I actually had to take that one back. Not that one, but the one that I bought that was, the soap didn't look right. I got some of these Huggies baby wipes. There are 40 in here. I still can't believe they sell these. At some Dollar Trees. I got eight, these, a pack of these rounds again by Assured, and there are 80 in here. And I like these right here because I tried some of the other ones and I just really didn't like them, but I like these. I got a pack of this paper towels that I used once before and I was, I liked it. I was impressed. It's a big roll, 100 sheets, strong and absorbent. And surprisingly, I decided to try this just as backup tissue. And I am, you know, I'm still shocked that this stuff is so soft and strong. So, you know what? I like this so much, and I'm pretty picky when it comes to toilet tissue. I went out and bought like two, I think I bought two more of these, so I got three for bag up. Because I didn't really want to go out and spend. I had just bought the other tissue that I normally buy that's cost like six, seven, eight, nine dollars. I didn't want to buy another one of those because I had already bought two, so I just bought some of these as a backup. And the, this tissue right here is real soft because, like I said, I tried it out and I just could not believe how soft it is. And I still can't believe it. I still can't believe it. I think I just can't. I'm trying not to mix up the food. Let me maybe, maybe not show you the little food that I bought yet because I need to keep everything together. Somewhat together. I got some Clorox bleach. I usually don't buy the liquid kind. I usually buy the gel kind. But I had to buy this because you can use this in your tub just to prevent uh, that little mildew or mold that comes in there when you, from the water. So you can use that for that. Just right. You just, I just put it on. Um, I put on gloves first, and I put it on a piece of tissue or something. Not tissue, but paper towel. And I just take it around the um, the water thing or whatever, and it prevents mold. I got some ironclad kitchen bags and if you got mold it also takes it off or mildew or whatever but anyway I got some ironclad just make sure you open the windows or whatever the case is and put on gloves and wash your hands afterwards okay I got some ironclad kitchen bags there are eight in here they're for the 13 gallon trash can and these work good for my trash can and I like the fact that it has handles on it they're not like healthy but they're they're strong enough okay for, for what we need to use them for so for to me this is one of the better brands at DT Okay, I got some paint to paint that little ceramic pumpkin that I showed you guys in my last haul. Matter of fact, I got it over here because I haven't put it up yet. That, and you can use that paint to pop the paint that. Okay, I got some more Panasonic batteries in double A and triple A. This is good for remote controls and cute um, the mouse for your computers. I got some more hydrocortisone cream by Natureplex. This is the only brand I use from 99 cent store or, yeah, from the 99 cent store or Dollar Tree. No, this is Dollar Tree, I'm sorry. This is the only brand I use from Dollar Tree. And yeah, it works pretty good. This is the only one I've been using forever, okay? 
I know that I ain't had Cisco sell that too, I think. So that's why I, that's why I said that. But I'm, look, I got this right in the bag, so I know it came from Dollar Tree. I got some disposable gloves. They did not have the ones that I normally buy, so I was forced to get these, okay? And these are just plastic, I guess. And they say one size fit all. I know they don't stay on too good, but we're going to have to deal with these for a while, for a minute. And there are a hundred in here, okay? And I got some more Swifter. I just got one pack this week, though. Deep cleaning pad refills. This is good for the Swifter. It's, they work real good. My scrub buddies. And then I got me another, not another, but I got me one of these little emoji con, emojis, pens. And it works pretty good. I actually wrote on here when I was doing this video before and I had to uh, cancel it and record it. And it works pretty good, okay? I mean, it writes pretty good, so yeah. So yeah, this is a good buy. And I like the little face, the sad face. I wish I could have found a different expression, but they didn't have anything else except these. So I just got one of these. Alrighty, alrighty. Oh man, I got myself some gum. There's four packs that comes in here, and it's pretty fresh. So you know, if you see this, it's a good buy, a good buy because it's pretty fresh. I mean, it's equivalent to four of these is equivalent to the one big one that you can buy at Walmart. Okay, but I wasn't at Walmart, and so I decided to get it there. Then I got, I think I got this from. I'm not even sure if I got this from Dollar Tree, but. I'm actually thinking I did get this from, I think I, I don't know, I may have gotten this from, I think I did get this from Dollar Tree because Big Lots put their tag on everything. So this is a Moji pocket notepad. And so this is what it looks like on the inside. And I already, I'm already using one that's in my purse. I just wanted to show you guys what this looks like on the inside. It's really cute. Really cute. Okay. So that's a good buy. And I may put, I may get a couple more of these and put it inside mine little thing that I'm going to give out. Then you know I had to get me some more of that tissue because I'm hooked to it. But you know, this is my regular one right here. But what I was really happy about is that they had different designs on them. So I got these. These are so cute. Yeah, I like the box. Then they had this design. That's cute. I think they're bringing them out a little late though because summer is almost over soon. But it's still cute. So I got that seashells. And then I got this one with the leaves on it. That's cute. And then the tissue is really soft. You know Scotty's is a good brand. I always talk about Scotty's. Yeah, two-ply, 120 facial tissues. I mean, they work really good. They're good for removing, like, eye makeup and lip gloss or even lipstick. And they're soft, okay? They're very soft. So, you know, if you got these at your DT and you need some Kleenex, you may want to pick up Scotty's because it's one of the best brands to use, Scotty's. I'm doing an actual commercial, guys. I am crazy. And... I think I showed you the other ones, okay? So, yeah, so I got like three more boxes of the the flower one. Let me show you of this one right here because this box is really, really cute. So I got three more boxes of that one, okay? Then I got some more rectangular pens. I did not get the circular ones this week because I got a bunch, but I did get two packs of these right here, okay? And these do work good for cooking it, you know, baking and stuff. And you can use them for like science projects if you homeschool or just projects you want to do with your kids, period. And then I got some more of these felt leaves for autumn time. I took the other ones back, the pumpkin ones, and got these instead. I got two, but I'm going to actually go back and get three more. So when I change up my decor in here, I'm going to put these out on my tables. Okay? Because I'm going to use orange and red, I think. Something like that. Can you... uh, let's see what else. And then let me go to the food things that I bought at... Dollar Tree. I think I, I'm just trying to make sure I got everything that I wanted to show you of non-food because I did this video once before and I had to do it over again. So I'm just trying to make sure I got everything that I wanted to show you when it comes to food. Okay, I think so. I think I do. Okay, so let me show you the food stuff that I got that I normally don't buy, but I said let me go ahead and try it out this time. I got some Del Monte diced mangoes and light syrup and hopefully it tastes the same as the one in the grocery store. I forgot to check the date, so I'm going to check it right now and see. Okay, it's pretty good. November 24th, 2016. And they're definitely going to be gone before that because I'm going to put these in the refrigerator right now. And then I have tried this before, so I know it basically tastes the same. The Idaho mashed potatoes, this basically tastes the exact same as the one that you buy in the grocery store. And you have to, this, this doesn't expire until, what's this? I can't even see what this says. May 2017. Okay, so that's pretty good. Even though we're going to have this gone too before that. 
And let's see, I got another bag of some little things I bought. You know I had to, wait a minute. I got some of the, I can't believe they had the unsalted mini pretzels by Snyder's of Hangover, Hangover, Hanover. So I got a pack of, a bag of this. And I did not, I forgot to check the expiration date on these. I'm gonna check these real quick. I'm sure it's on here somewhere. Oh yeah, it is. It's um, November the 19th, 2016. So that's pretty good. And they normally cost like three, four, five dollars in a regular store. So I got one bag of this unsalted. And then I messed up when I got these cheese dips because the salt is not too bad. It's 300 though in sodium, but no cholesterol. And you know, as long as you don't eat them too much, it should be okay. I mean, you know, of course these are not great for you. So, but you just, you know, you just don't want to just eat it too much. It's a little snack. But anyway. Hopefully they taste the same as the other one. Okay, so yeah, this is the first time. I think I bought some a long time ago, I can't remember. And then I bought some of this Nesquik hot chocolate. I, I think I got like two boxes of this because it's only six in here. So I saw somebody else haul this and I just wanted to try it out to see if it's actually good. And it has 40 milligrams of salt in here. No saturated, let's see, everything else looks okay. I'm not going to go through all these ingredients, okay? Because every time you look at this stuff, there's always something in here that you may be like, oh, wow. But anyway, as long as you don't overindulge in certain things, it should be okay. Okay? And that's quick. I can't wait to taste it, though. And then, guys, I know you usually don't do that. Most people wouldn't do this either, but I just wanted to, I saw this pillowcase, and I was like, oh, it matches my comforter and my other pillowcase colors. And I was like, you know what, I'll get this. It's polyester. I won't sleep on it, okay? Well, actually, I can sleep on it because I wear a satin cap on my head. But I, I'll, at nighttime, I'll probably just take this off and leave my other one on, you know. Because polyester is not good for your hair, okay? And stuff. But anyway, I don't know what it's like. Let me see what it's like when you take it out of here. I need to wash it first. But anyway, it's actually okay. I think it's okay for a basic pillowcase just to go along with my decor in my bedroom. Yeah, it's okay. Like I said, I won't sleep on it. It's just going to go on top of my other pillowcase. Okay, because my other pillowcase, I have dye on it. So my hair, this thing stinks. I can't wait to wash, wash it. But anyway, I have dye on it, and I don't want that to show, you know, when I make up my bed. So I can just place this on it in the daytime, and when I'm, when I'm getting ready to go to bed, I can take this off. You see? So I, need, I need to wash this, but yeah, I think that's a pretty good thing. And I only got one of those. And let's see what else I got. I think that's it from Dollar Tree, guys. I really do. If anything else, oh no, it's not. I'm so crazy, guys. Look, the most main thing I forgot to show you because I, like I told you before, I am changing up my decor when fall time comes in. I got these plates, okay, for my table. They are pretty orange, orange, like an orange. Orange red, I guess, but I'm gonna put these on my table. Matter of fact, they match my tablecloth, so I don't even, I really don't even have to buy another tablecloth, even though I already have fall tablecloths and everything. But I may just use these because it looks perfect together. And then I just need to get some more cups or either wine glasses or something. I don't know if I'm gonna use wine glasses, I'm probably gonna use cups now because it's gonna be fall and put that on my table. I need to get some napkins to put on here, but yeah, these are really cute. I got four of these to put on this little small table of mine, and it's from. It's a good brand, you know, it's a good brand, good plate. But, you know, it took us forever to find four good ones because there was like, some of them had little stuff on it and scars and stuff like that. But anyway, I got four of those plates and I just think it's a good deal. I still haven't used my other ones yet that I got, that I showed you guys in a uh, haul that I did a few months ago. Then I bought some real nice plates from there with cups and everything and bowls and I haven't used those yet. But hopefully I'll get, chance, get a chance to use them. And it's just the other box of next quick that I bought in chocolate, okay? And I think that's it from Dollar Tree. Now I'm going to move on and show you guys what I got from Target, which I only got one thing from Target, but I want to show you guys what I got because I can't believe it. I still can't believe I had to buy this even though I didn't want to buy it. Guys, they had this right here on clearance, if you can see it good. This is a um, WWE ring and steel cage. And my son wanted this last year for Christmas, right? And he wanted it this year too because I didn't get it last year. And I saw it today at Target. And it's, it was marked down from like 
Okay, the normal price is like $60, $70. Then they put it on sale for $49.99. I guess enough people, people weren't buying it, I don't know. Then they marked this down all the way down to $7.54. So guess what? I got this. And this is one of his Christmas presents. I'm going to start buying everything right now because they put a lot of stuff on sale now and on clearance. And if you see that stuff, get it now and just put it up. Because in a few months, they're going to have this right back up to the normal price, which is like $60 for this. And I was not paying that for this because he's going to tear it up. I should have got two, but I just got one. So again, it was $7.54 at Target. And it may not be on clearance when you see this video. That's the only thing I hate about going two week videos because sometimes you don't you know get a chance to see things in time you know but you know that's what i got and i wanted to show you guys that's the only thing that i got from target that i want to show you guys as well now let me show you what else i got from big lots i went back to big lots i showed you these speakers last time <coughs> excuse me guys and um i had got i told you i got one well i had two or three but i took the other ones back and the other one or something back and i went back the other day and got another one okay to use it because I told you before these speakers right here are real good okay I, I can't believe it. I still can't believe it and they are only $10 that's one thing about when it's back to school and college back to school time they always put out good things at good prices and that's the best time to buy things like this okay that's the best time because it always be on not on sale but at a good price and I got another one the purple one for my my um for my phone and stuff and I'm going to use this one at the computer and then I got another one over there two of them over there on my TV just using it using it for a surround sound right now until I get the surround speakers but these work pretty good I like them okay so if you got a, a big loss in your area you may want to check these out okay and you can see who they're by Polarod Polarward I can never say that word okay but you see the name up there okay there you go and then I got some more of these emoji you know what the other one guys that I showed you like this I see right now it has the same tag on it at the top that one came from Big Lots too. the other one the memo thing they just they didn't have the um the tag thing on it like that that's why I didn't know it didn't come from Dollar Tree there you go it came from Big Lots sorry Big Lots see there's the same thing right there so it did I just had it with the wrong stuff. But anyway, this came from Big Lots. And I bought, I already got two of them. So I saw this one. It had different ones up there. So I decided to get this right here. These are so cute. You know, and I, I'm, I'm actually using this for Sliss Pad. So yeah, it's only $1. And the other one's $1 too. And then I saw these Moji stickers. And I was like, oh, wow, I like this. I can use this for my kids, for my son's school assignments and stuff when he do his schoolwork good or just to put on his journal. And stuff so I got this I only got one it's 500 they say over 500 stickers and you see all these little different stickers on here you got the happy faces and just all the different type of emoji faces and stuff like that so that's really cute and I think that's it from Big Lots that I got I'm just trying to make sure that I think it is yeah I think that's all from Big Lots okay so now I'm going to show you what I got from Walmart real quick I went to Walmart and I had to get some of this African's Best Herbal Oil. This stuff right here is the reason why my hair is the length it is now. And I know you guys really don't ever see it because I'm never on camera, but you know, but it's, it's I got a lot of hair and, it, and and this is what really grew it, you know. And I actually had more than I have now, but when I had that allergic reaction, a little of it, a little um, a little of my hair came out some. But anyway, this is the stuff that I use in my hair every couple of days and stuff. And I put this in my hair and I, I remember when I had braids in my hair and I was using this in my head. Do you know when I took my braids out, my hair didn't even stink or anything. It was real, real soft and it was a lot, okay? I wish I could just show you the pictures. One day, I may put them up one day on my um, page. I may even put them at the end of this just to show you what my hair looked like when I took the braids out two years ago. And I was using this stuff all the time. Not all the time, but I was using this stuff every couple of days on my braids and stuff and on my hair. And it grew my hair and everything. So everything it says it does, it really do. It really do that, okay? And you can also put this all the way, you know, over your entire body. Even though I don't, you know, I put it on my arms one time. But I usually, I basically just use this for my hair. But it's some good oil, okay? Then I had to get some of this tea tree oil because my son 
has some cerebic or cerebic dermatitis in his hair, just dry scalp, okay? He has that in his hair, and I was reading this, and I said it's good for dry, itchy scalp. It has vitamin E, aloe vera. It also, it also fights fungus, okay? So I was like, oh, this is good. And plus, the doctor had told me, the pediatrician had told me to put this in his hair. So I saw this at the Walmart, and I decided to get it. I don't know what it smells like. Let me see right now what it smells like. It don't really have a smell to me. I don't want to open the seal, but I don't really smell anything. It's like my uh, like my olive oil. The consistency is a little bit more watery than my olive oil, but I think it'll work out pretty good. And this, I think, was like two dollars and seventy-eight cents. And that other oil, the herbal oil, was a dollar and ninety-four cents, if I'm not mistaken. And then they had this soap right here on sale at Walmart, the Equate kind and black. Well, they had different kinds, but I got the black raspberry and vanilla one. And this was on sale for 75 cents, so I got two of these, okay? And let me see what that smells like. Oh, yeah, that smells real good. Let me see how many minutes I'm on. I can't see it. I think 25 minutes I need to hurry up. But anyway, yeah, this smells pretty good. And it was only 75 cents, so I got two of those. I should have got four, but I just got two because I got a bunch of soap. And then I had to buy me some of these allergy pills because, like I told you, I'm allergic to stuff. And you know what? This actually helps me when I have allergic reaction, and I actually take this, and it stops me from itching somewhat. So, yeah, that's so crazy, but it does. It works for, you know, other allergies, too, not just from pollen and stuff, but if you have allergic reaction to stuff. At least me, anyway, it works for me. I don't know if it'll work for you, but it works for me. And this is the gel one. This is the only type I buy, the gel one, because it gets through your system a little quicker. It usually works like 45 minutes to an hour. And so, fortunately, my, I think my allergic reaction is almost completely over, so therefore, I, I don't have to use this right now, and hopefully, the new stuff that I'm using, I won't be allergic to that. That's a whole different story. I don't even want to talk about it, because of the trip. And then, I got some Cisodine, no, Cisodine Pro Enamel Toothpaste. I, this is the kind I always use, okay? I, I got the Gentle Whitening Formula this time, because I definitely want to keep my teeth looking good and everything, and make sure it's healthy. And then, I also use the other one that keeps it hard, your enamel, you know, hard. But yeah, so this was 97 cents. I always get the small one because I, you know, just get a bunch of them instead of buying a big one. The big one costs a lot anyway, and I never want to buy it. You know what I'm saying? So I always get that one. And let's see, what else did I get from Walmart? I think that's it that I want to show you guys that I got from. It seemed like I bought something else from Walmart. I'm trying to think what else did I get from Walmart. I got another notebook, but you know, those are school supplies, so I'm not going to really show you that. And let's see, I just got like one of those. And I got some more notebook paper for my kids. And I think that's all I got at Walmart this week. I can't believe that's all I got this week. Because usually I need to buy a lot of stuff. So let me go ahead and do the, the 99 cent store. And then I'll be finished with this haul. Okay, I don't think I have that much stuff from the 99 cent store. So that'll be great. It shouldn't take too long to do this. I don't think I've bought that much stuff at all from the 99 cent store, actually. Because I only see one bag. So... I don't even think I bought really nothing from the 99 cent store itself. I think I only just bought two items this week because they didn't have the gloves there. And I didn't need anything else from there. So the only thing that I did get was another pack of these Ever Ready Gold Batteries in AA. Okay. And I got a cute little doggy. He is so cute. They had all different type ones, right? And I just liked him. And I was like, oh, let me get him because he's so cute. And he was 99 cents. I have to tell you that because some of their prices be $1.99 or $2.99. And then I got some more of those graham crackers that I showed you guys in my other hauls. And I got some more Hershey with almond. Not Hershey with almond, just some plain Hershey for the s'mores. And I think that was it that I got. Oh, you know, yeah, I think that was it that I got from the 99 cent store. But at Dollar Tree, I actually bought a carton of their eggs, okay, because I kept on seeing people haul those, and I was like, why am I spending three or four dollars and two dollars on eggs when I can go get those, and so we looked at them, and we looked to see where they were made from, they made out here, and everything, and so I was like, cool, they look pretty good, and I was like, let's try this out, so we bought a whole carton of those for 99 cents, and we also bought some turkey bacon from the 99 cent store, which, you know, is fresh, and I had bought that before I forgot to tell you guys. And it basically tastes like the, 
It's the same brand anyway. But sometimes they have the same brand stuff. It don't taste the same. But this actually tastes the same. You just get less bacon. You know, turkey bacon. But I don't eat turkey bacon all the time, every day. So it works out good for me, you know, and everything. But so I think that was it that I bought from Dollar Tree. Yeah. And then the 99 cent store, that was definitely it I bought from them. Because like I said, this week I really didn't buy nothing there because I didn't need anything. And they didn't have the gloves. I didn't need any more soap or, and I didn't need anything else that they had there, you know, because I got enough. Okay? And let me just check around and make sure I don't have anything else to show you guys. And I think that's it, guys. I think that's it with my haul. And I just want to say thank you for tuning in to my channel today. I hope your weekend is going great. I hope your last two weeks was superb. And I hope your upcoming two weeks is great as well, okay? And if you like this video again, you can thumbs up. That's a blooper right there. But if you like this video, you can thumbs up, thumbs up. <laughs> I'm laughing about it because I'm like messing up when I say it. Okay, you can thumbs up and you can also leave me a comment if you like. You can also follow me on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Google+, Twitter, and I think that's it, guys. I think that's it. And you can follow me at Sexy Ass Shay or Sexy Shay or Sharon Brown. And all of that information is somewhere on my page, okay? And we also still have our book available on createspace.com and on amazon.com, The Baby Mama Chronicles. And we also have a Facebook page for that, even though we haven't updated it or anything, but we still got that page, okay? I may go in there and update it. And everything but we still got that page and that book is available for ten dollars so check us out on that and i think that's about it and i guess i'll see you guys in another two weeks mm, i'm trying to make sure i didn't have anything else to tell you guys and i think that's about it i think it is i hate to go but i got to go i hate to go but i got to go I hate to go but i got to go i gotta get out of here get out of here get out of here even though I've been out doing a lot of stuff this past weekend. You know, I've been like out hanging out with my kids and stuff. And we've been like driving all over L.A. But anyway, guys, thank you again for tuning in to Shay's Tube. And guess what, guys? Guess what? Guess what I'm about to say? Guess what? Guess what I'm about to say? Guess what? Guess what I'm about to say? One, two, uno, dos, tres. I'm out, guys. Bye, guys. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs>